Well, 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 what's going on, Big Trucker Bee family? So, I'm recording this video now. I haven't recorded the video like this in a long time, considering uh, I, when I do my videos, I like, to, like it to have a, a decent sound quality. Well, when you're driving, uh, I gotta yell to the like, top of my lungs just to freaking get a good, uh, get a good video or get, get good sound quality. But I'm out here in Hooker, Oklahoma, and I know this, this place gets a lot of jokes for, for how it is. Um, and the name, actually. It started by this cow, it, the, the town's name came from a Californian, uh, I think in 1837. Uh, he, I know his middle name was Hooker, I forgot his first and last name, but yeah, they just named the name after him, and you know, it's, it, 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 it's, it's quite funny, to be honest. I mean, of all the people to name their name after, Hooker, but it, it, it's, gonna, it's, it's got its butt of its jokes, I guess you could say. You know, a good good amount of its jokes. Um, hell, they even make fun of their own town sometimes with the names. I mean, they actually uh, have a baseball team called the Horny Toads. So it's the Oklahoma Hooker Horny Toads. It's quite a funny... Uh, quite a funny name indeed but anyway yeah I'm on my way to Arizona um, I'm not gonna be able to upload this video until I get to at least uh, Tucumcari New Mexico considering I have to uh, get phone signal in which I do not have at the moment so that kind of sucks um, I mean I have it but not enough not enough to really uh, uh, do anything with it per se um, trying to get out of this spot, but yeah, that's a small little town, you know, we, uh, we go through a lot of interesting areas, a lot of, uh, small towns like this, you know, and it, to me, I don't mind, mind these quiet little towns, I think, uh, I, I feel like I get a lot of, uh, a lot of decent drive time with it, honestly, get a lot of good miles with it, so... But, uh, get out of this area. But, yeah, so this load that I got on right now is going from uh, Wadsworth, Ohio to Tempe, Arizona. And the thing I don't like about it is it's one of those loads that you have to use every one of your straps on. I mean, this, the load's only 44,000 pounds, but... The freaking, uh, but it's just, it's one of those, like, I want to say a dangerous load because the, it's, it's, you know, the stuff that when you go to a playground, uh, that rubber, that rubber stuff they have on the ground, it's pretty much bags of that. And I don't think I strapped it down right because I've had this shit, you know, it bounces a lot and I can't really tie it down tight. And you, I learned from every load I do. So pretty much what I decided to do in this one, I took uh, some tube or took my dunnage, placed it on top of the load, and then used it to kind of squish it down because the straps just was not doing it. Um, I had a bag bag of it almost fall off, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, no, nope, we're not we're not doing that today." Uh, sometimes when you're on the road, you you gotta find a way to improvise to make the load safe. Because I tell you what, DOT DOT would have had a field day with this load if I if I didn't do that. I mean this thing shifts easy. It's it's by far one of the most butthole puckering up loads I've ever done in the trucking business today. But yeah so it's right now it's Sunday. Um I got about eight hours left total. I I'm gonna try to make it to Gallup, New Mexico. That'll put me in at about seven hundred miles. Um I don't know if I will make it necessarily, and if I don't, I'll stop a little bit before. I think Albuquerque is about 526 miles, I think. <clears throat> I, I know I'm gonna miss you know rush hour traffic, but you know you still go through a little bit of the mountains over there, and, and with this heavy load, it's gonna slow me down, so I probably won't get to Gallup, New Mexico, but I'll, I'll, I definitely will be in in Tempe, Arizona tomorrow. Uh, it's, been, it's been a long... I started this trip on Friday, 2,000 mile trip. So, just gotta push it, man. Gotta put that grind out. But, anyway, yeah, so norm, back in the day, excuse the shakiness of the camera. This is one of the reasons of why I don't record. 
record videos like this. Um, but back in the day, I used to do this all the time. When I first started my YouTube channel, I made a video. I made videos like this, just talking about God knows what, and and just driving along, letting you guys see the scenery. I guess. I mean, you're truck drivers. You guys have already seen the scenery. But I guess I'm gonna look at this as kind of like a vlog in a way. Um, good way to talk about stuff, you know. Get a lot of stuff on your mind to talk about, so so why not? You know, it's funny, my GPS says that it's 65 miles an hour, but it's actually 70. Looks like I need to uh, update my GPS. Now this, I think by the time I finish with this run, I, I pull in about six grand. And then if I get another load that delivers by Wednesday, that'll be about seven grand for the week on the truck. So, not a bad week if I don't say so myself. Um, I got a total of 765 miles. If I had paper logs, I would be there at 12.56 a.m. I'm not going to tell you guys how, but I would be. God, this camera's so shaky. How do you stay, like, don't you ever get bored on the roads? They always ask, they say, you know, on the long board drives, and, well, to be honest, yes. Yes, I do. I get super bored. But at the same time, it's like, I get over it. I blast some music, you know, listen to audio books. There's a lot of ways you can keep yourself busy on the road as well as driving. I mean, as long as you're paying attention to everything around your surroundings, then, then you should be good. Ah, I enjoy these, uh, I enjoy these trips, except during nighttime. During the nighttime, uh, I, I get a little tired pretty quick. During the day, it don't bother me. It just kind of shows how long the, the road is, but, but during the night, it's not too bad. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd, I mean, here's a little vlog for you. Um, nothing too special right now. Well, tomorrow, stay tuned for, uh, weekly trucker news. And, uh, I might even post a two-parter video, who knows. But, I think this will call it, I think this will be it for now. Uh, if you guys like me doing videos like this, let me know. I mean, I, I, I can. I just, I stopped doing it because it's just too loud and I have to yell and, and the camera's shaky and, and so on and so forth. It's just not really my cup of tea. But, if, you know, if you guys like it, let me know down in the comments. I mean, uh, I could definitely uh, do it more. Maybe if I know I'm going to have phone signal, I might do a YouTube Live. Who knows? But, Anyway, guys, y'all be safe. Keep the rubber side down. And as usual, Big Truck Beat out.